Good morning, it's early, just after six. Uh, so what we're gonna do on this video, we are gonna do a battery test. So I've got 20 kilowatt hours of battery behind me, uh, 10,000 watt, sorry, 10,000 VA, Victron Multi Plus 2. Uh, solar, but the solar is not connected yet. So this is purely an exercise in battery usage. So I charged the batteries last night, 100% on the off-peak tariff. I'm gonna run it today and let's see how the uh, battery deals with it. <clears throat> Can I get through a whole day on one battery? And by a day, I mean between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. And then in the evening, can we uh, recharge it and then carry on the next day? And if that's possible, what appliances can we run, if any? So I'm optimistic. So first thing we're gonna do, let's get into it and turn off the power. Just before I do that, um, thanks to all those people who have donated on uh, coffee. coffee. Um, there's people just giving one or two euros a month and I just use that to buy stuff for the camera, memory cards, uh, things like that. It's not a lot of money, but you know, a few euros really does help because I can film multiple videos and get them out quicker. So thanks to everyone for that, appreciate it. You don't have to, of course, just watch the videos. It's no problem. Right, let's turn the power off and see what happens. Mm. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so we're now running on battery on its own. So everything is still working, the lights are on, that's a good sign. And you can see, it just says inverter on, on the inverter. And that's pretty much it. Um, if this works, I'm gonna configure it to automatically come on five minutes before the end of off-peak and come on in charge at five minutes past 10, which is into the off-peak time. If this works, it means that all my on and off-peak usage will be billed and priced at the off-peak charge, which is 12.96 centimes a kilowatt hour. Right, let's go upstairs, have a look and see how we're getting on. It should be 100%. I'll do some bits and bobs um, and then we'll see how it goes. Good morning, so we're on a test day, the off grid. So the first thing we're gonna do is just check out what's going on. So it's been on since six. This morning, I've used the coffee machine and other stuff. And the heated floor in the bathroom and the heated towel warmer. So it's now, what time is it now? 11 o'clock been on for five hours and we've used 12% but it is that beginning bit in the morning when the heaters come on that really drain the battery. <clears throat> Current standby load, let's have a look, 350 watts which pulls seven amps from the battery. The fridge is on, I can hear it so everything's running. All my TV stuff is running, this is all running. All the computers and everything I've got are on. So, let's see. Our first test is, um, let's do a load of washing and monitor what's happened, what happens. If there's anything interesting happens, I will show you. Let's do that. just filling with water so shouldn't be much but as soon as it clicks into uh, heating mode to heat the water up we should see a massive spike on that 
So you can see while it's in its um, initial phases of just spinning the drum, filling with water, it's not taking much more than normal, 400 watts, so overall for the whole house. Um, that's not really a major problem really. So yeah, it can keep doing that all day, literally. Um, it's when it starts to heat the water that matters. Of course, obviously, because I'm filming this, there's something in there clanking around, obviously. obviously. There we go. Look at that. So. I started to heat the water. 2000 well it's more like 1800 watts I think to heat that water so yeah so far so good see if it does a whole cycle and I will report back to you fortunately I can see how we're getting on downstairs I doubt to go down the basement because it's a sunny day so we can just monitor the washing machine and the loads and stuff and see how we get on um yeah i've just rearranged my dashboard a little bit make way now for all the victron and the fronius stuff which i'm going to put on later tonight but part of this test uh the washing machine is finished uh so let's go and have a look i got 79 percent left um uh, and everything's turned off it is coming up to two o'clock, so we've got another eight hours. Um, uh, no way am I going to use all this battery power up in eight hours. So that's good. And I wouldn't use any of it today because it's actually sunny. So when the panels get installed, that'll be even better. Just remember this test, we are just doing a battery longevity, if you like, test. Um, to see if it'll last from now until off peak. So we've done the washing, so now I've had about 20 coffees in the coffee machine today. Um, the heated towel warm was on this morning for two hours, like I said, and that heated for all the electronics associated, the radio has been on. So what we're going to do now is put the dishwasher on. Yep, really going to smash it today. Uh, not charging the car obviously because that's silly, but let's do the dishwasher. There we go. That's it, we're in. Let's see what happens. So it's just filling up. I think, yeah, there we go. Not expecting anything amazing until it starts heating up. It's always the heating element of these things that make the difference. There we go. So you can see the dishwasher is now switched on the heating element. And it's taking 1200 watts, which is not too bad. So like the washing machine, we'll get it when it's cycle. And then uh, come back to it, see how we're getting on. So I'll be quite impressed if we can go the whole day using washing machine, dishwasher, TV, panels, computers and everything and still end up with more than 50% left at 10 o'clock. Because you can run these batteries down as low as 10%. Um, so that means I could have easily two days worth of stored energy if I need it and that's providing that the eventually that there is no sun whatsoever that even just daytime is going to charge it even if it's in the winter so we may be one step closer to completely being away from the grid but we'll see over winter and have a look right come back to you when the dishwasher is done and we'll see what's going on Right, dishwasher is now finished. Kind of, it's just drying, so 
Not much to see here. Uh, 365 watts back down to normal, and then 71%. So it takes a lot because of the intense heating that it does. So while we've been waiting for that, uh, today I've been redesigning the dashboard, as you can see. So we've got some new, we've got some new um, items here. So most of this was the same, but I've now included the bits and bobs from the solar system down there. So we'll see, I'll come back later. We'll probably watch a film, uh, go for a barbecue. So I'm not gonna be cooking dinner. Uh, lunch was done on the hob, gas, so it doesn't matter. Uh, all right, let's see how we get on later on with uh, maybe a film and stuff. So see you then. Okay, we're back. Uh, what time is it now? 6.20, three and a half, oh, yeah, three hours, 40 minutes left. Uh, let's check out how we're doing. So still 300 watts ish, 360, 66%. Better, easier to see. Looks like I'm on target to be above 50%, which leaves me a 40% reserve, which is good for one day. So I'm going to make a few alterations now. Um, I'm going to, for tomorrow, <clears throat> I'm going to automate this. So I'm going to make it that it automatically every night, every day now, because it's clear I can do it on the battery with a big margin. Every day it's going to disconnect at 5.55 or 6 o'clock in the morning, then reconnect at 10 and charge up. So I'm going to go and do those bits of wiring now, uh, take Rosie out for a walk. Um, so I'll see you shortly. Good evening, just after 10 o'clock. So I've been programming all day, then watch some TV. Let's have a look. So I've programmed it so at five past 10, it flips over to take the mains in on off peak. It'll then charge the battery, charge the car, and then ready for the morning. Uh, and just before six o'clock, uh, when the off peak ends, it'll turn off again. So it's all automatic now. So having seen what we've done today, 60% left. So it only took 40% of battery to do a full work from home kind of day with uh, washing, dishwasher. So really giving it a run for its money. That's really good. I'm super pleased. So as I say, you can run these down to like 10, 15%. So all we're doing now is waiting to see if my programming's worked. So what we're looking for here is um, that changing from inverting to charging and the grid to go up to something crazy. And uh, it'll start charging and the battery is currently being discharged. So hopefully we'll be able to see if that works. There we go, let's see if it happens. It should be now, around about now. There we go, so we moved into charge. Charging. Not ignoring, oh and look at that. There we go. 127 amps going into the battery. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. It's a massive amount. So ignore AC has gone off. So that means we are using the in. It's charging. Uh, and you can see that's from the, the feed from the linky meter. There we go. So what we're gonna do now, just for fun, is start the charge of the car. 
and see what effect that has. So currently it's charging at 130 amps at seven and a half kilowatts. Let's see what happens when the car kicks in. Takes a while. Oh, it's gone up slightly, but you'll notice now that this drops down. Yep, because I've set the multi plus to only draw a maximum of just over 8,000 from the grid. So it's charging the car, charging the batteries, in total is 8,000. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, so you can see that by the end of the day when it kicked in that um, we hadn't used as much as I thought. So about 60% remaining, which is amazing. Uh, so this system, or well, this test was designed to show you how much uh, you could get from the batteries if you lived a normal, or well, for me, my normal daily life. For people with kids or, I don't know, high usage electric heating perhaps, it's not gonna be the same. But then you would specify it with a bigger battery or more solar, etc. And this test didn't have any solar panels connected whatsoever, and you could see it was a sunny day. So there was no input from that. This just literally used the off-peak energy on on-peak time. So that's relevant if you have a EDF tempo tariff. I discussed it in another video. Um, while most of the year is really cheap, um, there are those around about 20 days, I guess, where it's incredibly expensive to turn the electric on during the day. Well, with this system, then that doesn't matter anymore. You can just use it however you want. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. It's part of the solar series, the off-grid series. So I'll put it in that playlist. Um, there are others. Um, but yeah, it was just an interesting experiment. So the next video on this is when we connect up the AC properly and we install the solar panels. Also going to be another video on scaffolding, um, which is quite relevant because I've got to get up to the roof and it's about seven meters high. So it's going to be interesting. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it um, and I'll see you on the next one.